think my locker is broken. It probably is now. What? Nothing. Listen, I need to tell you something. Go ahead, I'm listening. Are you okay? <laughs> it's Alex, it's stupid Alex, and I can't talk to him about being upset because it would offend him or something. It's okay, it'll be okay. Oh my God, enough. Uh, it's not all about me, it's, uh, what, what did you want to tell me, George? Nothing, it's not important. I have something that will cheer you up. Eventually, surgeons learn that being open to the unexpected is not so hard. A paracentesis? You're awesome! Thanks for your help. You didn't need my help. Dr. Bailey? I'm busy looking for my baby, Karev. Have you seen Dr. Gray? Uh, Lexi Gray. I don't know, Karev. Try the pit. That's where an intern should be. Dr. Karev! Oh, man. Wife ran over the foot. She heard I let you cut off my wedding ring. Broken. Aren't you supposed to slap plaster on it or something? <sighs> done and done. <laughs> it's being prepared for the unexpected that poses a problem. Need some help? No, thank you. What exactly don't you need my help with? Mr. Henderson is having strange complications. I must have missed something, but I can't figure out what.
Trigeminal neuralgia. The part of the tumor that couldn't be removed is compressing the trigeminal nerve. Can you fix it? Probably not, but I'm certainly going to try. Thanks. I'm sorry I haven't been totally committed to you. I'm working on it, but I need you to meet me halfway. What are the rules of meeting halfway? I don't know all the rules, but the first rule is that you can't share information that may affect my best friend's career and expect me not to say anything. Fair enough. Rule number two, you can't go tell your friend said information without getting the whole story. Agreed? Sometimes you prepare as you go. Rule number three, we go back to my place and seal the deal. I like that rule. Other times you prepare on the spot. Why are you here? Didn't see any boob jobs on the board. It might be nice to, uh, chat. I've been thinking about you a lot, Dr. Hahn. Erica. What exactly have you been thinking about me? Mostly about that total aortic arch replacement you did under deep hypothermic circulatory arrest. Heard that line before. What a drink tonight. Fine, but it's not a date. And you're paying. When I pay, it's a date. When I'm on a date, I don't let people pay. She wants me. Fellowship, even with Mick Crappy's review, I got. Congratulations. You, me, bottle of apple cider. Apple cider. Tempting. I'm back on in four hours. I can't. I'm sorry. I have plans.
I'm not celebrating alone. That's pathetic. It's fine. Get cidered up. We'll catch up later. It's fine? It's fine. Congratulations, Dr. Yang. You have been chosen as this year's Davidson Fellow. Blah, blah, blah. Please note that you must have not contracted any infectious diseases within the last two years to participate. Last two years? Good thing you didn't sleep with Alex or George. Okay, ooh. Isn't that the scrub nurse from the pit? He's cute. He's been stalking me all day. He even pulled some strings and got my letter. If you're lucky, someone will prepare for you. Oh. Okay, fine. Maybe there's an O. I'll be back. I want to talk to him about Hans Humpty today. Right. Hey there. I figured you'd be out celeb- If you're not so lucky, someone will prepare instead of you. Mommy missed you, yes she did. I'm gonna move you now, but stay quiet. Is he sleeping? Cause she's lucky. I'm 10 minutes away from a hot bath. But it's bad. I mean, it could... sample from Mr. Paulson. It's not mucus. It's pseudomembrane. Plus his neck is swelling. But there will be some times. Diphtheria. So we... Uh, that's bad. What a uh, crap! Run to Mr. Paulson's room. Don't let anyone near that man. I'll tell the chief we have a highly infectious disease on our hands. When he threw up, is there a chance that Tuck is... When all the preparation in the world... There's a chance we're all infected. Just isn't enough. <laughs> 